Pete Moore Gunmark TV. Okay, so you decide to start loading and you buy yourself a big chunky single station cast iron press. Large and heavy, but the piece for the job. This is a Lee classic cast. But what if you can't mount it properly or you've got nothing to mount it on or it just gets in the way you don't use it? If you have these problems, then Lee, I think, have a solution in their bench plate system. The bench plate system consists of is a base plate, which is this here, that will bolt to anything. In my case, because I do a lot of reloading and mucking about, I've got it bolted to a rather sturdy plank so I can stick it on a desk, as you can see here with G clamps. Or if you've just got, you want a bit more tidy space, you just put it in your workbench, it's not a problem. And you come, they bolt down with four big 8mm bolts. These here are the actual locking plates, as we shall see in a bit. And along with the bench plate, lower, comes the base block, which again is mild steel, powder coated black, and it comes with three mounting bolts, which you can see the heads of there, and you can see the tops of there. In this case, I'm using a Lee Classic cast press, and each press does have a different formation for its, for its holes, for its uh, mounting, mounting bolts. Um, Lee provide a diagram and a list of their presses that will fit. Uh, which is pretty much everything. And as you can see, there's a number of holes there and the, the combination of, you can, you can fit any Lee bench metal press to this plate. Um, I would imagine that some other aftermarket brands, RCBS, etc., might even fit some of the holes. If not, you can just drill them out yourself. Uh, it's quite easy. But everything comes with it, it's not a problem. The job's simple and easy. Once you've bolted your plate down, as we've got here, and you've bolted your block to your loading press, you slack off these four adjuster screws here, so that these plates are now free. Pick up your press, drop it onto the plate and slide it forward where it lock in place. Now these plates hold it in position. What you then have to do obviously is tighten these down like so. and everything's held secure. What it is, there's raised lugs at the back of the bench block which engage with the ends of these, so you can't pull it off. But now it's bolted in and these are tight, the jobs are good. And you've got a perfectly mounted press, it's portable, and if you don't want the mess or the space, once it's done, you can take it off the bench and stick it in a cupboard or whatever. Um, say I use this, I come to here for for um, low development and I bring this down here, bolt it up and I've got a proper solid big strong single stage machine to allow me to do lots of work with. So that is the Lee bench plate system. When you buy it, you buy it as the base plate with one um, block which, which attaches to the press. You can buy other blocks as well, they're 13 pounds a piece. Um, but it's a good idea. Um, so I've got, I've got another lead press, I've got a, a turret which I'm reviewing soon and that's got a spare uh, base block on it so that's, you'll see next time you see it with that on as well. So that's the lead bench plate system, it works, it's well made, great value for money. Um, okay, if you like what you saw, tell your friends, support the site, um, use your stuff and if you want to contact me or anything, it's pmore.shootingsports at gmail.com. Good and safe reloading.